that Leave that me. shot from Albuquerque again. Great, Jason. Thank you for setting up and for the great work out there. Oh, my pleasure. I, you know, again, it's one thing to have to, to, to be one person experiencing things, but the power of the internet is that we all get to experience the same thing all at once. That's that's the beauty of this. Absolutely. And we've got and look uh, at that. Look at that. So cool. And you can start to see it, Sawyer. It's already moving off, right? It's uh, it's on its way to Starbase now. <laughs> you still have two more minutes, though, of uh, annularity yep. here. And I, I'm guessing, uh, uh, Jason, now it's, it's getting a little chilly there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we lost about 10 degrees since maybe in the last five minutes. And yeah, it's starting to get cold and the birds are just, it's strange. It's like they start to hush and then they all start to freak out again. And then they start to hush. It's like this this weird reference between the two. It's, you know, paying attention and then not paying attention, paying attention and not paying attention. And it is it is eerily quiet for, uh, for the middle of the morning on a Saturday in Albuquerque. that unbelievable and again just the fact that nature trying to adjust to it too and that's 10 degrees fahrenheit by the way which is still a dramatic temperature drop in just 10 minutes and it's substantial here's starbase jack is getting into the zone here pretty soon too jack is it cooling down there a little bit oh yeah in fact for starbase i'd say it's downright like freezing it feels, like yeah. it feels like dust. Yeah, it's just a, it's, I mean, it seems obvious, but yeah, moon occluding sun rays make Earth colder, and you can feel it. <laughs> Array eclipses. <laughs> and we can see that sunspot about to get gobbled up like we saw it on the San Diego camera before. Yeah, the next spot in the path, if you're trying to track it, is Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, no aliens there. And then it's going to make its way right along Carlsbad is on the edge, and then continues southeastward into Texas, so starting off in uh, Midland, West Odessa, uh, going southeast uh, through San Angelo, eventually Kerrville, which is right in the middle there in San Antonio. So keep an eye out of here along that path. And this is our setup in Starbase, by the way, that Jack has. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and put the bell icon so you don't miss new videos. Rockets getting delayed here, by the way, all the time. Of you know, of why are they like three in the morning? And they say it's because of orbital mechanics and the way the Earth spins in locations. This is the perfect example of what we're talking about here. I mean, just look how fast that's moving. That's just the idea of the how fast the Earth is going, how fast we're all curling through space here. It really puts things into perspective. And again, the whole idea of yeah, the orbital mechanics. Things are moving quickly in space, and things have to be in just the right place to get something as amazing as this. Like, this shot uh, that had to have been from a short while ago in Roswell, New Mexico. I think we might be right here. Maybe literally right over Roswell or thereabouts. So well, it's passed close. through there, so that had to have been oh, from yeah. a short while ago. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But hey, you know what? That fancy camera that looks just as good as ours. So, good stuff. Great job, Jason. It's been great. Uh, let me just try I'm guessing things are starting to warm up a bit, Jason, now in, in uh, Albuquerque. Actually, it's still really cool. Um, so I, I just walked out to the front by my driveway, and those little ring shadows are now absolutely everywhere, which is the just the neatest, surreal experience. I'll, I'll send Kevin another couple shots. Just imagine before people knew what this was, like what that must have felt. I must have been terrifying. And yeah, yeah, think, again, of, the, think of all the humans across the planet over the millions of years who have looked up terrified <laughs> and, and also hurt their eyes. All the people climb on 80s. But 
and also just all of the science that's been done, you know, since we started to figure out, oh, hey, using an eclipse, we can do all these various things. Uh, it's, it's a pretty freaking magical event. By the way, we just went from the middle of uh, New Mexico to the northwestern part of Texas here in Odessa.